Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I wanted to make a brief video today about the lunar nodes of the moon and the eclipse points are shifting signs, which is some exciting news for all of us. Um, so we are moving away from the Gemini Sagittarius axis and we're moving into the Taurus Scorpio axis. And this is happening middle of January, 2022. So with the North Node transiting Taurus for the next two years, approximately, our money, our values, our self-worth, our beauty, food, love, uh, material things will be up for some changes for the next couple years. And also all of us will be welcoming in some new changes into at least one area of our life. Now at the South Node point that's transiting Scorpio, uh, this is an opportunity for all of us to let something go in our life. So in this first video, I'm going to focus on the Taurus eclipse points and how that may be playing out in each of the signs. And I'll complete a second video uh, specifically for the uh, eclipse points that are hitting Scorpio. So just to give you some background on the nodes of the moon, um, so all of us have these nodes in our birth chart. Um, they basically give like a flavor of um, fate, destiny, karma. Uh, they ultimately move us towards our higher purpose, our higher good, uh, which is ultimately where the north node lies in each of our charts. Now at the south node um, is basically what we have perfected in past lifetimes. So that is our comfort zone. So when things get rough in this lifetime, we naturally want to revert back to the south node point. Um, so it is uncomfortable to move towards the north node, but ultimately that is our um, life direction or soul purpose. So the last time the north node uh, transited Taurus, was in April 2003 to December 2004. So think back during this time of your life and what sort of was happening in your life at this time? What sort of themes were coming up for you? Also, August of 2012 to February 2014 is when the North Node was transiting Scorpio. So they were reversed. Um, so again, very similar themes might be coming up. Now, it does not mean that something horrible is going to happen to you. So say 19 years ago, um, you got into a car accident um, and you broke your leg or something like that. That does not mean that exact thing is going to happen. Um, flavors like that will come up out of these uh, the nodal cycles, but it does not mean the exact same things are going to happen. So the nodes take approximately 19 years to go in, around the entire zodiac. So for those of you who have natal north node in Taurus, you are going to experience your nodal return, which is super exciting. So for sure for you, um, definite, definite endings and new beginnings for you in the next couple of years um, in one or multiple areas of your life for your highest good. So this is a good thing. This is super exciting. So we have a full moon partial lunar eclipse that's happening in Taurus at 27 degrees, uh, November 19th, 2021. So this is going to give us a sneak peek at what is to come for all of us in the next couple of years. It's really going to set that tone. So I want to go through each of the signs and let you know where you can maybe see some changes or opportunities coming up for you in at least one area of your life. Uh, keep in mind, I'm using a whole house astrology system. I use Western tropical astrology. So this is not going to resonate for everyone because the uh, birth chart is unique to you. And depending on where you are born on the planet, the houses could be really, really tiny or really, really big. So, um, Take what resonates and leave the rest. So I recommend watching for your ascendant, your sun, your moon sign to really pull all this information together to paint a picture of what's really going to happen potentially for you in the next couple of years. 
if you have no idea what I'm talking about, usually people know their sun signs. So, you know, people, you know, I'm a Capricorn, I'm a Sagittarius, I'm a Leo, I'm a Libra. Um, those are sun signs, uh, which is great. We all know that based on our birth date, but we are so much more than just our sun signs. Uh, so if you go to astro.com, you can actually calculate your birth chart um, for free, or you can type in any search engine um, free birth chart calculations, and it will ask you some questions. You put in your inf information, and it spits out a, a chart for you. I'm also going to probably mention uh, Uranus in Taurus. Um, so Uranus has been transiting Taurus since 2018, and he will continue to be there until 2026. Uh, so why is this important? Well, Uranus spends about seven years in one sign. Uh, Uranus takes 84 years to go around the entire zodiac. Um, he is a co-ruler of Aquarius. Um, he brings unpredictability, um, unst uh, you know, instability, um, unexpected change, freedom, basically where Uranus is in your chart, you cannot be controlled. You cannot fit into a little box. Um, so Uranus can really um, think of it like a lightning bolt. I mean, he does rule electricity, so uh, things could really come out of the blue. So with the North Node transiting Taurus, the North Node will conjunct Taurus at some point. So definitely all of us are going to experience this in the next couple years. And especially if you have personal planets in Taurus, between um, Uranus and the North Node transiting Taurus, they're going to conjunct some of your personal planets. So this might even play out for you in a larger, different way. Okay, so with that said, let's start with Aries. Uh, Aries, this is happening in your second house of money, work, finances, uh, income, your values, any sort of material possessions. Basically, what belongs to you. So there's definitely going to be some changes in this area of your life in the next couple of years. Um, and with Uranus in the second house, it is considered lucky. Now, I'm not saying, not saying uh, you know, put... Uh, a second lien on your house or something like that, or taking out a new mortgage against your home. Um, the the possibilities there though. Otherwise, Uranus in the second house can sometimes um, be a roller coaster with regards to your uh, finances, uh, a little bit unstable. Now, Taurus, this is happening in your first house, uh, so that rules the physical appearance, your ego, your identity, your physical body your home, your attitude, uh, and your clothing and your style. So you might be going through literally a physical transformation in the next couple of years or beyond. Um, and especially with Uranus in here, definitely, definitely going to uh, shake up your first house and maybe um, change up your, uh, your style and appearance a little bit. So for Gemini, this is happening in your 12th house. Now, the 12th house is a little bit more quieter. It is the unseen. It's healing. It's closures. It's karma. It's the subconscious. It's secrets. It's basically what is hidden from you. So maybe something will come to light, whether you bring something out into the open or a partner or a, um, a child. Um, something is going to come to light in the next couple years. Um, and also with Uranus in here, it could happen quite suddenly. Um, I'm also curious how Gemini, how, how you all are uh, sleeping at night. I know when, you know, if there's a certain aspect transiting the 12th house, sometimes uh, people don't get sleep. And with Uranus in there, I'm just curious how you all are uh, making out with that transiting uh, your 12th house. Um, and then keep in mind, Gemini, so Uranus is going to be transiting your sign. Uh, starting in 2025, 2026. So you really will be experiencing what Taurus is going through right now, which is, you know, um, physical appearance, the body uh, going through that sort of transformation. So cancer, this is happening in your 11th house of friends, groups, community, your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, uh, what supports you and brings you good fortune. So this is a lucky house. Um, 
And with Uranus in here, it could bring you some luck. But like I mentioned, Aries, do not, uh, don't sell the farm, so to speak. Um, it's just a possibility with Uranus in here. And if it does happen, a stroke of good luck is a stroke of good luck, right? So you could be really with the North Node transiting, friends could be coming and going. So maybe uh, old friends drop away and you welcome in some new friends. Uh, with Uranus in here, you could be attracting some very interesting friends, to say the least. Now, Leo, this is happening in your 10th house of career, reputation, public image, uh, your long-term goals. Um, this is also a parental access. So the fourth house, the 10th house is a parental access. So uh, a mom or a dad could be um, needing your assistance or some sort of parental figure. 10th house usually rules the father, but um, in some circumstances, uh, it could also be the mom as well. So uh, Uranus in here, definitely shaking up that part of your chart. So I have a feeling Leo's, um, you're probably maybe frustrated with your career right now. Uh, the next two years gives you that opportunity to um, change it up. And especially Uranus in here, it might happen suddenly. So you might switch careers um, or you might change goals, uh, something to do with those uh, areas of your life. Now, Virgo, this is happening in your ninth house of higher education, teaching, long distance travel, uh, your beliefs, your ethics, uh, meeting people from different backgrounds all over the world, uh, basically what is outside your comfort zone. So you could be uh, in school right now taking uh, one course and you might switch and take another course. Um, and a good, again, it could just happen out of the blue. With Uranus in here, it's really shaking things up for you. Or you could maybe move to um, a whole other time zone or a whole other country uh, with uh, Uranus um, being in here definitely for the next several years. Now, Libra, this is happening in your eighth house of rebirth, sex, transformation, taxes, debts, loans, joint finances, property, inheritance, and this also rules the shadow. So um, Libra, maybe you've been trying to get a mortgage the last couple of years, or maybe you've been just trying to get a car loan. Maybe you've been trying to eliminate debt. So this will, uh, the next couple of years looks pretty good in this area of your chart. Um, and also with Uranus in here, you could get a stroke of good luck. Uh, but like I mentioned before, don't sell off everything and, and blow all your money on lottery tickets. I'm just saying it's a possibility in this area of your life. Um, so that is uh, definitely lots of transformation for Libras um, in the next uh, couple years. Scorpio, this is happening in uh, your opposite sign, Taurus, uh, which is your seventh house of contracts, marriage, legal matters, business partnerships, relationships, basically in general, the seventh house rules the other, those you are connected to. Um, so you could be getting married in the next couple years. Um, also maybe new business partnerships might come, be coming into your life or leaving your life, um, any sort of relationships in general. Um, if you are married and you are happily married, um, you will, your marriage will likely get tested in the next couple years, especially with Uranus, you know, being in here for the next few years. Definitely Uranus is going to throw some curveballs at you. So just be uh, just be aware of that. I'm not saying you're going to break up or everybody's going to break up. No, it's just tests. You know, Saturn does the same thing. It kind of throws some tests at us to um, see how sturdy the foundation is. That's all. Now, Sagittarius, this is happening in your sixth house of day-to-day -day work, your health, your fitness, your pets. Uh, habits, the workplace, and your responsibilities and obligations. So really, the next couple of years, you're going to be transforming your day-to-day -day, uh, routines. Um, maybe you need to um, clean up your diet for your health. Maybe you need to get into a better health routine. Um, maybe you're going to be welcoming new pets into your life. Maybe some pets have to be put down in the next couple of years. Um, 
And with Uranus in here, it's really going to be shaking up your day-to-day -day, um, uh, health and habits. So just be aware of that. Capricorn, this is happening in your fifth house of children, love affairs, creativity, self-expression, drama, fertility, and gambling. Basically anything you desire, and it's a fun house. Um, so uh, family, this is a great time, Capricorn. If you want to start a family in the next couple of years, this is a great opportunity. Um, but on the flip side, if you don't want to start a family, um, just be aware of that. Uh, your fertility could be super high right now, and I'm not just talking to the ladies. Um, so if you don't want to have children or start a family with your newfound fling, um, definitely take those precautions. And with Uranus in here, anything can happen. These are those quick pregnancies. These are the, you go out and buy a lottery ticket and boom, you win. Um, those sorts of things, but also drama. Like it could just come out of left field, didn't see it coming. Uh, same with your children. You could be um, maybe helping them go through a certain stage in their life right now, uh, well, the next couple years. And then with Uranus in here, definitely ex an extended stay in this house for you. Aquarius, this is happening in your fourth house of family, home, roots, um, self-care, property, the past what grounds you, and this is again the parental access, so the fourth and the tenth house. So uh, fourth house usually rules mother um, or a mother figure, um, but it could be dad as well. So again, something could be coming up um, with a parent, similar to the Leos, um, that needs your attention or they need your help with something. And then again, with Uranus in here, I have no doubts Uranus is shaking up your home, your foundation, your family, you could be moving. Uh, usually with Uranus transiting the fourth house, moves are guaranteed or massive renovations to your home. And I'm not talking about a little bathroom reno. I mean, you strip down the walls of your house right down to the bare studs and you rebuild. So um, definitely uh, lots of things happening for the Aquarius family for sure. And for Pisces, this is happening in your third house of the mind, uh, communications, transportation, siblings, cousins, neighbors, short distance travel, uh, basically what is known and familiar to you. So you could be getting some surprising news from a sibling, uh, a cousin, a neighbor. You could be moving um, maybe closer to certain family members. Um, you could uh, meet some new neighbors or get some new neighbors. Um, you could unexpectedly have to do uh, short distance trips, uh, whether in your city or uh, maybe within uh, your area. And of course, with Uranus in here, definitely shaking up this area of your house for the next uh, several years yet. So, uh, so I hope that helped. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, just a reminder, I'll be doing another video just like this to talk about the Scorpio uh, eclipse points and I'll go through all the signs. Um, and also, I'm going to be doing a video on Venus going retrograde in Capricorn. Uh, she's starting shadow pretty quick here and she goes retrograde next month. So I will also do a video on that and how it affects uh, each and every one of us. Uh, so thanks again, and we will see you, uh, see you very soon. Bye.